This is our house. We've been building it over the last couple of years and now that it's finally finished, we're all moved in. However, there's one problem, the garden. Well, the drive as well, so two problems. With the army of builders and heavy machinery traipsing back and forth all day every day, the outside took an absolute battering. Plus, it made no sense to do the lawn, planting or any of the other finishes until everything else was done. But that day has finally come, and I'm happy to say things are now looking pretty freaking wild. Oh, and we may or may not have built an indoor swimming pool. Welcome! Welcome. <laughs> to our finished. Pretty, it's, it's not finished. It's not finished. Yeah, but it's finished almost in the sense finished. that everything is finished, basically, apart from the pool, which is almost finished. That's Let's exciting. have a look. Pretend you're a car, Fab. Drive onto the drive. <laughs> so the drive is now done in a very satisfying way. It Yesterday is. we had an absolute plant fest. There's trees everywhere. Yeah. Just quickly, these. Can you name them? Royal oak. <laughs> Silver it is oak. actually an oak, an evergreen oak. Granny Smith. Yeah, oak. <laughs> that's it. Just this quickly, one? just quickly, effort. right. These are oak trees. Is this ambitious, but is that not? <laughs> oak trees grow to like 20 meters tall, man. In like 10 years, in five years, this wall's gone. <laughs> five this years, the entire neighbor is going to be decimated by us. We've got four oak trees there. We've got an electric charging point. Can you just plug that in? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 We haven't even got an electric <laughs> <laughs> phone just Give me that for We're future, this is future, future proof. Oh, is that Fab's mum? Yeah. Yeah, see you later, yeah, cool. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we haven't got an electric car, <laughs> but it was a planning condition to get that. And we're going to get an electric car at some point in the future because we just are, so it'll be handy, right? Other trees, that's a, called a green bush. That's a yellow speckled hen. And then these are like other bushes here. Uh, you'll notice as well, this weird, this isn't a massive brown snake, it is a, what's it called, says? Irrigation system. Irrigation system. We have an irrigation system throughout, so everything is all like automated, it's watered. So basically, I've just tried to avoid me having to do any work, and so You're far... You're just going to sit there? I'm just going to sit there in my car <laughs> with my toaster plugged into my charger and watch it all water itself. We've gone for a drive-in, drive-out. We were thinking about like a massive electric gate. Seems unnecessary. I didn't, what, I, what, what I wanted to avoid is like, you know when you have multiple cars on a drive and you have to move one to get your one out? That's annoying. Who wants to do that, right? Yeah, that's true. So this way, true. we can both... We can get like three, four cars on maybe and we can all drive off simultaneously what? Simultaneous. what off? simultaneously without having to move any other cars right let's go around here that's fab's room in there where's the portaloo gone that's my favorite oh, the portaloo is finally gone can you see the, can you see the mark where the portaloo was <laughs> that had literally had been there for like three years yeah the guys entire... were saying they're just going to incinerate it because it's definitely not usable anymore side passageway Ow! <laughs> so this is called the side of the house this is a wall, and then, get ready for this mate, get ready for this. What, what, what was it like last time? It was bad. It's a mud pile. There was no Put grass. That in. Put that in. We have some grass now, mate. <laughs> Welcome to our garden, my friends. I'm now a gardener. Can you, can you do some roly polies on the lawn? Absolutely not. That would be immature, irresponsible, and dangerous. Okay, so all of the beds are done. The render, the guys are going to come and repaint the render because basically we got all the planted bed, all the planting beds rendered, and then obviously in the process of putting plants, and they got covered in mud. The guy the other day was trying to rub the mud off, and you know, like when something's dirty and you try and rub it, and it just makes it worse and worse. It was just doing that, so they're just going to repaint all of them so they're nice and fresh and white. Look at those lines. Come on, that is satisfying. Mum did that. My mum did that. Says his mum did that. The lawn has been in now for like three weeks and it's taken well. So the guys basically turned up with about four million rolls of turf. They rolled the whole thing out painstakingly, pressed it all down. And we've had to keep Matt and yeah. our children off it. The boys have been desperate to go on it. We've kept them off, uh, but it's like properly bedded in. It's properly yeah, attached. So we're basically clear to run around on it. The one thing they said you can't do, they said just don't do any roly poly, so. Okay, we'll should be fine. keep bear that in mind. Jeromus Lavathion. Silver birch. Silver birch. Giacomonti. I, I've yeah. learned lots about plants. These are our herb garden. It's our herb garden. It's gonna grow up. Herbs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sears is growing around herbs. So can you see here these kind of brackets have been fitted? Next week, these are all gonna be benches. So you see like all the cladding on the pool and the house. It's going to be the same finish, but there'll be benches, bench wooden seats the whole way there and the whole way there. So we can just sit down and 
I've got a table for so here. What are we going to do is sit down. I've got a oh, table for here. Room. Are we actually? Yeah, but it is black. I, I ordered a black one. I don't know if that's going to be too much. Or can't, not. can't send the order right now. So basically, because obviously this whole thing opens up, so we've got the kitchen here, and then we can just have like this outdoor kitchen here. It's going to be sick. Again, you've got the irrigation stuff going around everywhere. The world's most aesthetic path. There's my going run down the path. Come on, that looks sick, right? Yeah. So we've got this gravelly shingle stuff everywhere. By the way, FYI, you have to get it at least 20 mil or bigger and you want to get it a regular shape. If you get it a regular shape, then it kind of sits down. It doesn't just go everywhere and be annoying. And if you get it 20 mil or bigger, cats don't shit on it. If you get smaller gravel, cats treat it as a litter bin and it gets absolutely decimated. So what's going to stop me from <laughs> Nothing, literally <laughs> nothing. We've got these lights down here. We've got these slate chippings, which are really good for skimming. Do you know what I mean? If we had like a bit of water here, that would just skim <laughs> so well. This is the bindweed that I'm trying to kill. To do it with patience. Trying to kill it? Yeah. Not a problem. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get off my lawn! Oh, no, we, we've got our friend. Well, how team. dare you? How <laughs> we, dare you? We just basically asked our friend what to plant in here. Yeah, so oh, our friend is like an absolute garden expert. Uh, why have I said this? And she chose the plants. <laughs> we've got sick lights everywhere. You can't really see them now. We'll try and get some shots later when it's a bit dark. They look wild. Okay, I forget what was here when the pool building was here, right? But now look at it all clean. The gym has been all pulled back. So you know the gym was like silvery and faded. Wheel the absolute sick guys, sorted it out for me. Look at it now, it looks absolutely pristine. How satisfying is that? Says what in God's name are you doing? Okay, this is called a pergola. This is from Sun's Lifestyle and it's sick. Features include shotgun though. Uh, so let's say we're sitting out enjoying a nice drink with our grandparents. It starts raining, oh no. We'll have to go inside. Oh no, Sylvie, what are we <laughs> gonna do? No problem, mate. Close the ceiling. And then if it's too windy or you just got someone weird in your garden that you don't wanna look at. So now you've got like an outdoor kitchen. It just makes this space bigger. Yeah, so the plan is basically, so this Kings, Scott from Kings, AKA my boyfriend, is doing an amazing <laughs> job. He did all of the joinery in the house, by the way, an absolute hero. So he's done the bits in there, he's doing this. So this is gonna be all units. We've got a barbecue, an inbuilt massive sick barbecue here. We've got a pizza oven there, table here, like chairs and stuff. Like a bar higher bar Yeah, table. so basically, I'll show you in a sec. When you open the pool up, the, these slabs go the whole way through. So you've got one massive kind of covered area for in the summer or in the winter or even the spring. Perhaps all autumn. Round. Yeah, basically we wanted it to be able to use it all round. Yeah. And so I think this windy, really helps, right? Yeah, if it's windy or rainy, we can close all the things off. Everything's concealed and you basically extend the size of the port. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You've basically got a bigger covered area. Right, over here. So again, just like down there, we've got the benches coming in. So these, where you see all the brackets, that's all going to be covered with that really cool kind of cladding bench seats. Then you've got a little bit of planting there. And again, all the planting bits have Dining lights. Dining table here. Oh yeah, dining table and then chairs around here. Yeah. And then what are we doing well, I there? think like quite comfy ones and then like a... Outdoor... Uncomfy ones here. No, an outdoor sofa. Oh. Outdoor sofa in like an L outdoor shape, sofa. I reckon. Everyone can sit around and just watch me get a massive pump in the gym. This what? is where the sun comes in the evening. Yeah, yeah. So basically, this is the la yeah, this is the last point in the sun gets. So obviously we'll hang out in the house, but it, I feel like in the summer, like now, we're going to be hanging around the pool. And so this whole thing just becomes one sick usable space. Before we go in there, says, hold your horses. Let's quickly look around the side. So now look, this is all done. I've got a glorious path to my gym. That, that's really handy because I keep treading mud in. For the last three years, my gym has been decimated because it's been a building site here. So everyone that comes in just carries all the stuff in. Whereas now, it's nice, clean slabs. Look at that for you as well. I know, it's wild, isn't it? Like, we're trying very hard to take it off, to, not to take it for granted because like, as if this is my house, do you know what I mean? Yeah. What an absolute ridiculous situation that we find ourselves in. Give me some suggestions. I think we're gonna put some kind of cover along here because this is a bit of a dead space, right? I wanna have a place for like bikes and like kayak and anything else, do you know what I mean? The beach is literally right there. So we want stuff that we can 
keep so it gets covered but it doesn't kind of make a massive mess and just spill out everywhere else. This is where it gets messy. That is the plant room. That looks pretty I didn't cool now. I haven't seen how it. Much look. Stuff. Can we show, see? It? Yeah, show it? The amount of stuff, this is like an industrial swimming pool. I didn't realize how much stuff comes with the pool. Welcome to the plant room. So we have Els, talk us through, mate. Els, come on quickly, I need to help. Come on, Els, mate. <laughs> what is this massive thing here? Air handling unit. Air handling unit. Look at all this ducting. You'll see it in a minute. It all goes through on, into the, the pool. pool. Everything. The pool and that the aircon. Yeah, that is the main. That's the main thing. If I was to turn this off, <laughs> what would happen? Here we go. Really? <laughs> oh, this We're currently is... operating at about three bar. Any bar fans out there? It's like an industrial like factory. Do you know what I mean? Look at all this stuff, mate. It carries on around there. But then this is sick, right? So I thought we were getting like a chlorine or a salt water pool. Turns out we're getting neither of those, mate. We have this filter thing, right? This is like a. It's like a new thing. It's like UV. So it, the water gets goes through this UV light thing and it turns the water into, it's like so clean, it's literally drinking water. So like legit, you can drink our swimming pool. And that is the plant room. And then fab, let's go and look at the swimming pool, mate, because it's in there. There is one particular feature of the swimming pool that I'm pretty sure no one else in this country has and that I'm extremely excited to use. If you wanna know what it is, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Or you can just keep watching because it's happening now. Welcome to the pool room. So we have the same slabs as outside. So again, you have this one big continuous area when you open the doors up. Here's the joinery that's kind of half done. Can you open these for these safe oh, so This is like massive, oh, isn't it? it is I don't massive. Know, like, what are we putting in these cupboards? So that's Scott's done this again. The same guy did everything in the house. And it this looks, looks good, See, right? look how it just wraps around the thing, mate. Pretty sick. sick. So here we're gonna have stuff like a fridge and a dishwasher and a sink and everything else. So. You can, you, this is like a self-contained thing. I mean, you could literally live in this pool. Come through here. We've got a sauna, Fab. Oh, that's the, literally the best smell ever. Fab, come and smell this, mate. Let's sniff our sauna. You know what I mean? It smells like maple syrup, it's so nice. I mean, you oh, can't appreciate it now. When it's finished, I'll come back and show you all the lights. It's gonna look amazing. It's from Steam and Sauna Innovations, a sick guy called Jack, and it looks absolutely outrageous. And like I said, when all the little recess lights and stuff are in it, it's gonna be wild. Also needs to fill in this gap. Awkward. Uh, then we have toilet here. So funny story, we had the portaloo on the drive until yesterday. I wanted it gone for this video because I've been looking at my office at the portaloo for about 20 years. And so the guys put the toilet in here. So the builders can now use the toilet. The portaloo is now gone. Everyone is a winner. Oh, look at all this. I haven't seen this. Yeah, look. yeah, it looks good, right? Sick little changing bit. Whoa. Little we changing just, room. We squeezed it in. There we are. This little section was quite hard to design, design, wasn't it? Careful. Shower's in, says. We wanted basically to have space to for people to get changed, have a shower, and now we've got like little space that we spent a while like trying to work out the best layout yeah. for here. We didn't want like you know if you're trying to get changed after the swimming pool and someone needs a toilet, you want to be able to do that simultaneously yeah. rather than have to wait Shout for Shout out to Seabrook Studios for helping us. Yeah, Seabrook Studios, Ben and Tatiana. As if you've got a sauna as I well. Know. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to go on about it, but basically using a sauna every day literally prolongs your life expectancy. So as soon as that's fired up, I will be in there every day. You and David Laid are for having For nine a hours. Most importantly, right, so we have a swimming pool here, Fab. We have a swimming pool here. These are like little lights. We've got recessed lights all around the sides. And then if you cast your eye up here, we got hang tough, mate. We got literal hang tough over the swimming pool. I thought to maintain my status as the best gladiator of all time, it's only right that I had at least one of the games in my house, and now I have it. So you think it looks deeper than yeah, you thought, I mean, right? Like, if I... It's quite a big pool, right? Yeah. It also says, this is a black thing, point to that thing there. That is a swim jet, mate. It says, pretend you're swimming against it. You're gonna get fired back here. She will not be able to, she won't be able to handle that kind of power. That's 900 brake horsepower, by the way. So this is all ready to be filled. We need the pool cover, so it's not, because we need the pool cover. So down in that corner there will be a little box. The pool cover comes up and then runs along, but the guys can't fit the pool cover if the pool's full, because they'll be scuba diving down there. And so we have to wait until that's done. And at first I was annoyed, but actually, it's worked out well because hang tough is better when there's no water because I have a free run. Demonstrate, Demonstrate right now. <laughs> I'm going to get you, sis. <laughs> <laughs> you actually stuck. What? I thought Sears was about to die there. 
Imagine if you just fallen. <laughs> so it's better for swinging, slight increase in risk. <laughs> that noise is just the metal hitting the metal. That's quite a reach for me. I feel like it's a reach for everyone else. <clears throat> so imagine there's a contender there, mate. Oh, get off, mate. We can have some of that. Fab, and they're gone. Do you want to go as a contender? Right now, right now, come on. Fab's having a go. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just go for that first one. Yes, Fab. <laughs> oh, come back, come back, come back. <laughs> so the hooks basically, and not any they're in there. And the carabiner, the metal is just hitting ah. that face. So I might put a little foam pad on it so it stops in the noise, but I like it because people get freaked out when they use it. It's quite <laughs> funny. So imagine when the pools fall, Luca and Mauro, or in fact, it's Luca's going to be hang toughing the shit out of his mates. Imagine being a seven year old kid and you have hang tough over a swimming pool in your garden. Pretty well, I'm jealous of, I wish, do you know what I mean? I'm jealous of Luca as a seven year old. This is going to be my diving platform, basically. So we were like, you can see this, the, the pool set up. So we were, I'm and Aaron for ages about how we're going to do these steps because obviously you want it to be practical for like people to get into the pool, but I want to have as much like swimming space as possible. With the swim gel, obviously that's perfect because I can just swim in that bit there. And then you also want for like little kids, obviously if the whole pool is that deep, <laughs> then it's going to drown. So it's nice for them to have a space that they can Stand knock up. about on. Yeah, exactly. What is a speed box? Don't touch. <laughs> Let's just come out and enjoy this shot one more time, mate. We really need to hold that up. <laughs> absolute madness what an absolute madness the last house we lived in like if you're an OG subscriber you'd have watched us I've been there we were there we lived in that house for 10 years she's pretty emotional selling it because it was says grandparents house so it's quite emotional but although there's lots of parks and the beach we never had an actual garden and a place do you know what I mean a park the boys can play there but you can't send them out by themselves here they can just come out by themselves every day the plan is for this to be an absolutely pristine football pitch but it'll be sick for the boys to be able to play there when the pools fall like I still haven't got my head around that do you know what I mean we're gonna have a swimming pool, like in our house. And that is that, is that that? Is that yeah, anything? Yeah, that's it. Much. I think that was it. I mean, you've seen the house, basically, right? The house, we've added some bits, like we've added a sofa, so it's gonna demonstrate this wonderful sofa. sofa. Went for green, it's quite bold, don't you think, Fab? It's I don't, we like wanted to go too, like, gray, too gray, do you know what I mean? That's really good, though. Look at that, mate. Serious storage in there. There's like a new big mirror out here. Plants? Yeah, Big plants. Part. Basically, we've got some mirrors, we've got some plants, we've got a sofa, but other than we're that, still, we still the need house more is the stuff. same. We've got more chairs coming, we want to do the slide bit. We more wanna, rugs. We should do another video, right? When it's completely, completely done, we'll do a final house thing, but it's basically the same as when you last saw it. So that swim ball should be literally fully done, finished in two or three weeks' time. So when we're done, we will do a final swimming pool tour when it's all full and we're jumping in it and it'll get a shot of me pulling Fab off hang tough down into the bottom of the pool. And I'll hold on to him, I won't release him until he gets to the bottom and then I'll hold him there. <laughs> until I pass out. Until he passes out. I keep saying it, but honestly, still is very surreal. Like it's strange that this is our house. Having like that view out there is just pretty, it's pretty insane. Pretty it's wild. Insane. That is the drive, the house, the garden, the pool. Everything. Everything. Apart from the sprinklers. Oh yeah, okay, so we have yeah, the irrigation thing. So we, as well as the irrigation, part of that, we have pop-up sprinklers that come up all over the lawn. And again, they're automated. So it means that's why the lawn, partly why the lawn's so sick is because it's been getting watered on a regular basis. Fab, go, just go and quickly walk down the garden, quickly. Really? It'd be fine, yeah. I was joking, there's no sprinklers there, it'd be fine. Just go quickly, just trust me, just go. Oh, you want me to just walk? Keep going, mate, it's fine, keep going. Just go and get me something from down the bottom, please. <laughs> come over here, Fab, just come over here. This one's not on, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs>